happy hour are doing a live podcast at the Kendall Calling Festival near Penrith. So we're on our way now. I thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride. It's Mark. So we're just getting towards the site now. We're walking through some trees and look at the ground. It's already very muddy. I've got walking boots rather than wellies. We see how it goes, but oh, I've seen worse. I'm a survivor of Glastonbury 2007. We'll be all right. Let's find artist accreditation. So we got through artist accreditation. We got told to find our tent just to go to the field. Look, through this, artist camping. That's not a Jack Matt one. Jack Matt two. Okay. That's two singles. Number four, two singles. Oh, this is us, number four. All right, let's have a look and see what our little tent's like. Open this. Let's have a look. Oh, yes. Look at this. Towels, beds, doormat. Don't know what that is on the table. Don't mind this at all. So a nice man called Sam's been to visit us and given us this 500 pound bar tab. Ooh. <laughs> Mark, have you brought your own rug with you? <laughs> yep. What is it? It's a fleece, mate. Look at that. What stuff have you brought? Just half my house, really. What's it for? Like a little, like a grand, granddad at the football? Yes, yeah, it's a wrap up. Look at that. Don't mind that. Look at that. <laughs> Yoda. Quality. So the arena is opening now, so we're leaving our little luxury bell tent and we're going to head down, have a little look around, work out where the stages are, and maybe try and find the little secret artist bar out the back. Come on, let's go find the secret bits. Let's find a little look around the site. And everyone always says how great Kendall Calling is and how it's one of the best festivals. I get it. I get it straight away. It's beautiful, it's hilly, it's a different, it's a beautiful site, it's very different to most festivals in terms of location. The main stage is basically a natural bowl sort of, I don't know what you call it, amphitheatre type thing. It's wonderful. Really excited. <laughs> Behind the main stage now, I think somewhere up here there's some kind of artist bar. We found our little backstage bit, it's where the dressing rooms are behind the main stage, a little bar. Just so can sit and have a relaxing drink. I've got to say, look how good the backstage toilets are. How good are these, Mark? Man, proper toilets, look at these, mirror. That's what you want at a okay. festival, there's a post proper mirror. mirror. Oh. Soap. It's all happening in here, mate. Look at this shelf. Good wee? Amazing. Best probably today. Met some people, <laughs> hello, hello. 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 hello, let me photos. Yeah. Wait, where's my phone? It looks like I'm taking the photo. <laughs> no, I'll take the photo of you too. So our 500 pound bar tab has been working, but Mark is coming over now. Does it work? Yes, mate. Amazing. How, do, how, what do you do? how do you use it? I don't know, just gave it to me, she swiped it, it's fine. Every time, every time, every time. TV surrounded by chicks as always. No, I don't follow anyone. I've followed like 60 people. Yeah, I watched your podcast. He followed her. No, I didn't. He followed her on Instagram. Yeah, he did. And then he unfollowed me because he thought it was too big for his boots. No idea who she is. Sex offender. Love you, sweet. Love you, sweet. Right, it's half 12. We're back in the artist camping. Gonna get a little bit of sleep. Well, hopefully, quite a lot of sleep. And then tomorrow, do a fancy little show. Back to the tents. 
Friday show day. What a bleak scene I've come across in the woods. What are you up to? Well, I went to have a shower, but they're broken. So I tried to wash my hair with like these little bottles of water that they've run out. I know, I've run out and the taps don't work to fill them up, so. It's getting fixed though, isn't it? Just stand there in the woods until it gets fixed, mate. I, I have to go on stage. Go on like that. <laughs> I'll give gonna... you 20 pounds just go on stage like that. 20 pounds? <laughs> yeah, do it. I'll pay 20 pounds for a shower right now. Right, Stevie, we're doing a show today. Are you excited? <laughs> yeah, um, what are we doing? I've, I sent an idea through on the what's that about. Just talk about festivals. festivals. Yeah. So we're going to talk we about need a bit more other that. festivals. What we've done here, I had a mental dream last night. We can talk about that. Go on. Oh, save oh, it. Well, I was saying, don't, don't tell these lot this, but. If we struggle at any point, we can just do some of the all caught up stories from tour. Well, I never showers. Shower gel at a festival. Let's get clean. Our set clashes with We Are Scientists, and I, I'm gutted. And they're doing a secret set as well, but that clashes with Alfie, so I'm going to have to go and see Alfie. I'd rather go and see We Are Scientists. Um, but um, we just walked past them there, and it's made it worse. I'm like, oh, I can see you, and I love you. Down at the Woodland stage now because Alfie's on at one o'clock, so we're gonna go and watch that and then after we go and get ready for our set. There we go, there's Stevie pouring a couple of blows. Half three, yes, Alfie's now. Uh, if you could please do, Robbie, why are you filming me? Uh, if you could please do that, that would be lovely. Uh, what, uh, Instagram, Strava. just Alfie Indra. What Strava. was that? Strava. Strava, I don't. I don't have Strava. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah, 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 I'm so gone. I think I'm gonna cut and run. I think I need to see someone, but I got nothing to say. So I'm going to dance the voice away as I dream. See now, he did his little show, and we're off to go and find our little dressing room now and go and get ready for our show. That's our tent, mate. Quite big, isn't it? <laughs> this is our dressing room. Lovely little building there. We're going to work out what we're doing in a minute. This is the little compound behind the Parkland stage where we're playing today. Very pleasant, very nice. Just basically some porter cabins there. We've got a little dressing room over there. Just going to chill out for a bit and work out what we're going to do in this show. 3.10, 20 minutes to go, Jack. How do you feel about our preparation? 20 minutes to go for us. Until it starts. What are we doing? Well, we're just like, talking stuff. Uh, we do podcasts all the time. How am I feeling? I've had an hour's sleep. So, dreadful. All right. Uh, Alfie, you've just turned up. You have so little idea what's going on in this show. Yeah, and I'm doing... Are you going to smash it? No, and I'm doing the storm on again. And I have to come up with my dream festival in 10 minutes. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> no. What's up? We've really just had nine months to plan it and I've just not thought about it until literally about 40 minutes ago. I did send an email, la a message last week. Yeah, I ignored it. Yeah. I probably won't do that again. Won't you though? How do you feel? I will be doing that. This laugh every time. I'm alright, I've had a couple of cans, I've had four cans. I feel a lot better now I've had started drinking. Doesn't it help? Yeah. And also, so who does this? It's Jack's yeah, name on it, so if it is shit, we're doing it's all on it. Yeah, yeah. We're golden, mate, we're golden. Oh, really uh, we show time. We need to find out where we're going, which I think is over here somewhere. That's the back of the tent, so presumably it's there. Mm. We're running. Four minutes, we're at the back here, waiting. How are we feeling, Jack? Shit. I feel all right now. Do you? Yeah. Shit. Beer helps. This is very shit. Oh, we've just been told by the by the stage manor, manager that they needed a bit of a breather after Dick and Dom's set, so we are that. 
We, um, Alfie was going to climb over the front of the stage, but a little bit of a problem in that there's sparkles and CO2 and stuff, so if he tries to come over the stage, he's going to get seriously injured. So Fee has run out to find him to tell him this, otherwise Alfie might die. Mike's on the chairs. And, and are they cordless? They're wired. They're wired, are they? Oh, they're, they're wired. They're wired. Right, that, that fucks up a big bit when I want to go in the crowd then. Stevie down drinks. Honestly, top three worst moments of my life. I love, I always loved it. This guy just got on backstage. He looked at me and went. <laughs> I really thought we were going to pluck some amazing comedy out, but we didn't. Like, not once. That was not one funny moment. This is probably just the worst thing I have ever been a part of. I think they enjoyed it. Did they? Yeah, we were laughing. Were they? Yeah. I someone saw put up people 10. Work. We asked how good it was and someone said 10 out of 10. Yes. People said it was better than the live show. It's fucking it's really They're so on that's, drugs, it's unreal. That's a, In, what do you think, Mark? I thought it was fucking awesome, to be honest, mate. Honestly, I was sitting sidelines. I could hear it all. It was spot on. Right, it was a bit chaotic, but that was always going to be the way. Um, and it's a weird, it's a weird room to do. Uh, not room, it's a tent. It's massive. People seem to enjoy it though. People gave positive comments. I don't, I don't, I had a funny time. Sam, you booked us. Are you losing your job? <laughs> I don't think so. I thought you guys were great. Oh, thank you, man. On a scale of one to ten, how likely are you to lose your job for booking us? <laughs> I'd give it a solid like maybe four. <laughs> That's really hard! That's, That's 40%! That's, That's a coin flip! That's a coin flip! 40%! I'm so sorry, mate. I'm kidding, man. Oh, okay, okay, good. Oh, you lot, spread out! This one's for you! Must get through! Must get through! You got there, mate! Hello, hey, um, example here from the Jackmate podcast. Um, <laughs> You've done other stuff, though. You know, um. Well, mainly I won, that. I won British Bake Off. <laughs> the mainly happy hour. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I've had two kids. So, but mainly happy. I mean, no, but more importantly, what's that? This is tequila. This is for um, Mega Robbie and uh, Steve Eleven White. He knows it. That's he knows his Instagram handle, doesn't he? And um, Daisy Pops <laughs> underscore. <laughs> she's my new girlfriend, latest girlfriend. No, she's my new girlfriend. Latest, latest. I love her, I love her, and we're going to be together for a while. she gets that up. And until we run out of tequila. And what's your Instagram handle? Um, I don't have an Instagram handle. Yes, you do. You leave the room. Do I? Like, uh, <laughs> uh, no. And um, Jack Jark, mate. J A A C K Mart is not here because. Why is he not here? He messaged earlier saying he actually doesn't like you that much. It's quite weird. I don't. I it's not even an Apple Watch. This just looks at your weird. You got a watch from Dixon's for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> 
Right. Uh, you can have a shot too, mate. Even right. though you don't have Instagram. Yeah, yeah. He does have Instagram. He just doesn't know he has it. Big one for you. What are we drinking? Uh, this is what happens when you're a rock and roller. You got tea. I used to be rock and roll. I love that you always jump to the Bristol oh. accent. <laughs> I lived in Bristol for eight years, and I just, oh, every story, time bro. I see you, it makes Cheers, me buddy. feel it nice. again. Right. Let's drink to um. You, Robert, you call it. Uh, to Instagram handles. Nelson Mandela. Cheers. Oh, I love it. Great. 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 Yeah. That's what Nelson would have wanted. <laughs> it's a fit bit. Maybe Jack should pay me more. Maybe she gets more hair implants. Fun! <laughs> the fun of show! Other bands are coming in to see it. Drink the German bread! Other bands are coming in to see it. Drink the German bread! Oh, don't go. Hey, Amy's taking us on tour. We made a new friend called Amy and she's like shaking us around. This is funny. And then it hits. This is uh, Steve Davis, experimental dance music track, gifted by the fucking DJ over here. Legend. Look at it. Day three, Saturday. Uh, I'm feeling good. I feel I had a good sleep. Nice little sleep. Uh, went to bed not too late. And now we're out about. We're gonna get some something to eat because I'm not eating yet. Just had a shower though, I feel lovely. Chips. Ten pound. Cheers, Mark. It's had a place called the Green Reaver. I think it's like a sort of VIP type thing. But it's in the middle of the thing, so we're just coming here, having a sit down, little drink, and then gonna go and see Happy Mondays. I think. I've had so many people come up to me and say, how's your head today? I just went and got another drink and the bar manager came over just to ask me if I was okay. Time will tell. We go again. Look at this. Stevie over there has gone over to meet Rick Astley. He's... He's shat in he. What's he doing? Thank you so much. Just a confidence man. I'm calling it out. Confidence man of the greatest of all the festival bands. I love them so much. Ashley. Yeah, I'm just just actually uh, just just posted a photo with me and me and him. Really weird. He really leans into it because when I met him, he said he would never give me up, and he kept holding me. It was really strange. Lovely guy. Lovely guy. Do I have a problem? Sunday, the final day. It's made such a difference having showers and stuff like that. I washed my hair today, little shampoo bar. Like, never seen such a thing. Amazing. How are you feeling, Mark? Yeah, okay, actually. Day four, still going. <laughs> That's chicken fat chai, mate. That's absolutely rancid. How much does it cost? I don't know, like 27 pounds or something. It's just mental. Look at him. So, this boy, what you got? Chicken shit. Nice. John McClough from Reverend the Makers, proper man of the people, where just come out, meet people, say hi, play a bit of guitar. <laughs> Showing off. You have a go? No. Nope. Because I will die. How's your 
festival been, Jack? <laughs> um, yeah, good. I think over the four days I've probably had about six hours sleep. Uh, went to bed at ten this morning, lad. Uh, but we go again. Can you do your walking out there? <laughs> so it's the end now of our adventures and time to go back home to the old land. Uh, it's been great fun. Thank you everyone at Kendall Calling for having us. And thank you everyone who came out and said hi and come to see the show. It's been really good. Steve, any final words? Uh, I'm not okay. I've lost my voice. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Join the Patreon. Join the Patreon. Only £5 a month. Is that right? <laughs>